What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another legendary item review for you, and this time we're taking a look at the Fire Cell Humongous Long Musket. Now mine is plus plus at the end of that, I don't know if it's always plus plus, but this thing's a beast, so if you can find it with a plus plus, take the plus plus. Alright, the damage on this gun is 157, accuracy 60%, handling 58%, reload time 1.6 seconds, fire rate 3.52 per second, mag size of 26, Red text says, say cryptocurrency, and to the best of my knowledge, this is a reference to Elon Musk. This entire gun is a reference to Elon Musk. Uh, Elon Musk owns some uh, Bitcoin uh, stock, from what I understand, so I'm guessing that's what that's in reference to. Otherwise, I, I don't have a clue. I'm completely clueless with crypto and all that stuff. Other stats on this gun is negative 36% weapon damage, plus 15% weapon fire rate, Negative 42% weapon accuracy, consumes 3 ammo per shot, and it's highly effective versus flesh, obviously. And then the bonus white text at the bottom says, one free blockchain with every reload. Now, what does this gun do? This is a flamethrower. And not only is it a flamethrower, it's a badass flamethrower. As you can see from this footage, I've taken it into the Proving Grounds, and it's destroying. Now, granted, this is normal mode Proving Grounds, where you don't have to match elements quite so well. However, even when you use this thing against flame-resistant enemies, enemies that are, you know, like fire enemies in general, it's still going to melt their faces off. So, um, and the, the weird thing is, you know, I saw the consumes three ammo per shot. I saw the negative accuracy. I saw, you know, the negative damage, all that stuff on the card. It doesn't seem to matter at all. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can find versions of this gun that take those quote unquote negatives away, but this gun seems to not have any real issues regardless, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I never run out of ammo with this thing. Unlike the, say, like the Lyuta, for example, which is obviously a beast weapon, but you run out of ammo on that a lot. On this gun, I never run out of ammo. Like, I, you know, will just check the chest marginally for uh, ammo, you know, replenishment, but I usually don't even need it. Um, I will say this, um, the throw reload doesn't seem to do very good damage. Um, but that might just be because I'm so used to it doing such massive damage with the flamethrower itself. As you can see, we just absolutely destroy everything in sight with this thing. I had my fastest proving ground run of any weapon on any character using this gun on Zane. And Zane doesn't even have any like real like bonuses for like elemental work, you know? Put this in like the hands of Amara who has some like elemental you know, bonuses, and holy god, <laughs> this would be like a really amazing weapon. So, what can I say about this gun that isn't just me gushing about it? Um, you know, again, I guess the, the only negative I can think of is that uh, the throw reloads are not super strong. Um, here was like the only mistake that I made during this entire run. I completely forgot about the optional objective of killing the guy. I was so focused on just like murdering everything. Then I forgot to kill the uh, the dude and he like teleports away, I think. Maybe not. No, nope. I think I did get him on this one. Okay, never mind. I must have been thinking of a different one where I didn't get him, but <laughs> I definitely got him on this one. Just barely though. But uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a good fire weapon, get this thing. Like, here's the main problem though. This gun, much like a lot of the legendaries in this game right now, the only way that we know that you can get them is via world drop. We're still trying to confirm drops from sources. We found a few things here and there. This one, me, Jolts, and Lazy Data, we all got this one from the uh, cube challenge, the cube puzzle in Desolation. It's just dropping loot. Oh my <laughs> oh, god, That is sick, dude. Oh, we crap. solved it. <laughs> conference call. Oh, I got a conference call. We got a conference call. It's level 37. So if you make it to that point of the game and you find the cube, I'm not going to like tell you too much about it because this isn't really a spoiler. But once you find the cube, you know, maybe solve that puzzle for yourself and see if you get this from that because we got this plus we got a conference call. So, you know, that might potentially be a way to, to get it because all three of us got both this and the conference call. But then again, it could be completely random on that. And it just decided to give all three of us the same two guns. I really don't know. 
So until we can really confirm any of these things, I won't say definitively that that's how you get this, but I will say that's how I got it one time for sure. Um, I've also gotten it as a drop from, uh, I think, General Trant. Uh, you, you will encounter at some point during the story, again, without giving anything away. Just a name, so. But yeah, um, <laughs> what else is there to say about this? So uh, another thing that we could bring up is how Randy Pitchford had actually tweeted Elon Musk saying that he wanted to put him in the game uh, as a weapon or wanted to like make a reference to the boring gun, uh, which was Elon Musk's flamethrower that uh, he made. Uh, his company is called The Boring Company, <laughs> which is just a hilarious name. But uh, yeah, so Elon Musk had responded and said, sure, yeah, go for it. Now watch this boss fight, man. Watch this, watch this boss fight once he gets to a spot where he's like not moving. And his health is going away. <laughs> now, if he, had, if he had been a uh, fire version, he would still have gotten killed by this thing. Just not nearly as fast, believe it or not. But yeah, <laughs> it just goes right through him, man. Oh, lordy, lordy. So, but yeah, Elon Musk and Randy Pitchford had a, uh, a moment where they were basically, and here we go, we got Fire Elemental now. So now you get to look at it. And see, look, it's still killing him. He resists, and it's still killing him, dude. That's how you, uh, that's how you do that right there. So this has been the, the Long Musket. What was it called? The Fire Sail Humongous Long Musket. And again, minus plus plus. Don't know if it's always plus plus, but that was absolutely my fastest run of the Proving Grounds with any of the weapons that I used. And uh, yeah, this thing, beastly, man. It's beastly. If you can find this thing, grab it, keep it, favorite it so you don't accidentally get rid of it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe for more, tap the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.